Hello and welcome to a brand new series on the channel. Uh, <laughs> I want to zoom, but um, apparently we, we can crawl in this pack, which is kind of fun. Also, I can't see anything from all this tall barley. Huh, wish I could harvest it and get some barley out of it and make some bread. But anyways, we are playing the mod pack better. Minecraft, but not only that we are playing better Minecraft plus which has about 86 more mods than the original better Minecraft and also if you haven't already noticed it Yeah, we're in hardcore. You see I wanted to whoa hold up Hold up boat what Do we have as boats? Rowing boats Oh, that's cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you see, I wanted, to, I've been wanting to play better Minecraft for a while, but I have also. Oh, hello, hi, sorry, didn't see you there. Okay, that was a little bit scary. As I was saying, I've been wanting to play better Minecraft for a while, but I have also recently been thinking that I've been wanting to do a hot a Minecraft hardcore series, and well, I think this covers. Both of those. Better Minecraft in hardcore. Now this mod pack is huge, like I already said, it has 300 plus mods and there are dangers potentially everywhere, like those. I don't think the fly is that harmless or harmful. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm going now, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I am going. I can't see anything in this tall grass. I think I'm gonna probably be needing this diamond helmet. We got a notch apple. That's pretty big. We also have a bunch of books here and we also have quests. And this is all of the different dimensions. What do we have here in the beginning? Plus experience quest book. Enjoy better Minecraft with all your favorite mods without tech, of course. There is so much to do in this pack. As stated in the description, this mod pack is not meant to be balanced. All it does is add all your favorite mods. Hope you enjoy. We shall indeed. I am looking very much forward to the series and I hope you are too. And if you are, be sure to leave it a like and put down in the comments if you have any tips for me. <laughs> Because, um, yeah, I'm new. Okay, I have limited time before it gets nighttime, and I don't know what will then happen. So I need to get some wood here, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna get some wood here. I saw there was some stone over there, which I think I might start chopping into that hill over there, or that mountain. Might get some, uh, get, get some shade there, get, get a little bit of a starter base going or something like that. And I really hope that there's no... Oh, I love the crafting sounds. I really hope there is no more of those uh, creatures nearby. I think though I will be making an ax just in case. That way I do have a fairly decent weapon. I also have spotted some coal right over there. So we will definitely be going for that. There is also a wizard tower over here. Oh, there's another thing over here. Ooh. Oh wait, is that a village? Oh wow. Okay, that's, that's a lot to take in at once here. I think that might be, that could be a village. I also want to check out this ruin and that wizard tower. There's also something over here. Wow, a lot of stuff to explore. I think, however, I'm gonna go ahead and get some coal. I'll check this out and then, yeah, we can potentially check this out over here. If it is a village and we can sleep, that is. We should probably go into um, third person here because apparently you never know if something is gonna jump out at you that you can't see. Ah, yes, coal. Perfect. We'll be able to smelt stuff and make torches. Excellent. I do wonder, do we have... No, we do not have vein miner. <laughs> I do believe though, I do think that we have... Yes, we do have Tinker's Construct. Perfect. I will probably want to get started with that fairly soon. All right, 12 coal should do for now. Now it's time to get some stone, get all geared up with some stone tools. Wait a minute, if Tinker's... I can't do that. I want to make the Tinker Construct crafting table. I like that a lot more than the vanilla crafting table. All right, first stone. Hold up. Hold up. I can't make a normal stone pickaxe? Wow, okay. Uh, I guess I am getting started with Tinker's Construct right off the bat here. All right, first I believe we will need 
some patterns. And I will be needing this crafting table again, and we can combine that with a pattern to get the crafting station. Next, I believe we need the pot builder. And then I believe we need the tinker station, which I don't think that I have enough wood for this. I indeed do not have enough wood for this. The sun is going down, so things are going to start getting a little bit dangerous around here. But we do have coal, we have torches. I can hide in this in this hole if I want to, uh, or I should say if I really need to. But there we go, tinker station. So now I should, yep, we can make pickaxes. So, and I will need to make a pickaxe head. Durability, attack speed, mining speed. It looks like wooden tool handle is more durable. Yeah, it is more durable. Okay. And I can go ahead and make my first stone pickaxe. Perfect. And of course, I'm going to also go ahead and make an axe like so. And now it is getting nighttime. Oh boy. Looks like I'm camping here. Oh no. Okay. Zombie zombies are already making their way over. That is not good. Oh yeah, this pickaxe is so much better. Right, what I think I can do is probably do something like this, and I don't think... Is that a pink spider? Or is that an enchanted spider? E either way, I don't like it. <laughs> what is that? Aha! My zoom button is not working. Perfect. Yeah, that's some sort of weird enchanted spider, and it's coming this way. Okay, I don't like it. Since when is it thundering? Oh no, skeleton. Since when is it thundering? When there's no rain. <laughs> oh boy. I really, please, if someone knows what that thunder is, please do let me know down below in the comments because it's kind of freaking me out. It's not raining and it usually doesn't thunder unless it's raining. Yeah. But yeah, I'll see you in the morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the sun is now on the rise and I think it is somewhat safe to go out. I want to check out that over there because if it's a grave like the other one I was at then that might have more loot for me. I've also made a fishing rod which... oh flint ore. Oh that's sick. I've also made a fishing rod because I thought maybe that is a way we can get food. All right I went ahead and make it, made a stone sword and a stone camera? I think it's a hoe. <laughs> uh, Barley. Oh wait, can I use this? No, I cannot apparently. All I want is seeds. And I should be able to get seeds very easily like this. Alright, I got 11 seeds. I think I will be able to put them over here near the water. Yep, so if I do that and I plant them. We have a little bit of a farm going on here. I will definitely check out the fish over there. But first I want to check out this grave that was over here. That's a bridge. If it is even a grave. Uh, graveyard, chisel, deep slate. Okay, yep, I think. Diamond? Diamond ore? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously? Wow. Um, It's just the one? It's just the one. That's cool. I will have to come back for that when I have the iron for it. All right, I am a little bit desperate for food, so I think I'm going to use a little bit of time here to just sit and fish. I'm not happy about going into the water because I don't know if there's crocodiles. Well, I know there are crocodiles. I just don't know if they will come and eat me. I don't have that much armor. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of time to fish here. What is that? Okay, that's a sheep. Wait, sheep. Bed. Wool. Hmm, I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. I don't know if any of these are like poisonous or something, but I'm gonna do some manual fishing here. And I'm gonna really hope that there's no crocodiles in this water. Okay, so these fish right here, this I can cook normally, I think. But I can turn it into raw fish fillet, which I can then cook, which then gives me cooked fish fillet, which isn't the greatest food, but it is certainly something. I just need one more, then I'm full, and then we can go over and bone meal the wheat and get a bunch of bread, like that. And I can do the same one, actually, which is awesome. Perfect, that was 25 wheat, which should give us eight pieces of bread. 
And I should then be able to just expand our farm here. All right, a little bit of bad news. It is raining, so the mobs are not gonna burn in the sunlight. That is the bad news. The good news is that I spent the night fixing up the home, so it has been expanded a little bit. Area for tinkery and whatnot, a storage space for when I get more wood up currently out. Um, but yeah, I think I will... That's a wandering trader. Walking without llamas. I don't know if I trust that. Oh, it's being it's being hunted by. <laughs> okay, let's see if this guy has anything to offer. Hey, buddy, you got anything? Okay, that's really really good. Except that I don't have a diamond pickaxe, nor do I have emeralds for it, unfortunately. Buddy can't help you. Uh, but yeah, I think I will wait uh, the rain out. Wait for the rain to go away. And uh, probably we'll have to wait another night or so. And then we can go ahead and check out this village. In the meantime, I think I might start a mine over here or something along those lines. I'll keep you updated. All right, the rain has now stopped. I am not 100% sure where the sun is. It is going down. I do want to check out that village in the daytime. But I have discovered, I think, a cave over here. Yep, there's a cave opening right up there. And I want to check if there's potentially any iron in it. Because I need a shield. <laughs> I'm not comfortable in Minecraft Hardcore unless I have a shield. So we're going to quickly head up here to get a closer look at this cave. Well, nope. Does it look like this? anything of value here. So what I think I'm going to do instead is check these planes if there are maybe some sheep. I see some sheep on the meter map. So maybe I will be able to get some... Oh wait, there's two wandering traders? I think there are two wandering traders. Hello, buddy. Bucket of pike. Apple sapling. That's cool. If I had any emeralds. She is... Weird she is. Even weirder she is. I don't really want to kill these guys because... Might want to start up a farm at some point. It is a night time yet, so I'll keep looking. Maybe there are some more down here towards this ruin. But I don't want to get stranded out here at night time. So I'm just going to take a quick look to see if there's any sheep. If not, I'm going to have to wait till morning again. I see some more sheep on the meter map, but I want to check out this real quick. What is this place? I mean, obviously, it's a graveyard with string, actually. Hold up. I might be able to make... Yep. If I can get enough string here, I might be able to make a bed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you think... You, you again. Are you kidding me? Ah, uh, I'm two strings short. I'm literally two strings short. Wait. Oh, there's a chest here, too. Totem of Undying? Really? Wow. Uh, where could this go? I don't know. It's a slot charm. I don't know where that slot is. <laughs> okay, that... Oh, zombie spawner. Hello. No thanks. No thanks, I'm good. Leather? Uh-oh. I do not like this. Oh. Okay. Ooh, string. Perfect. I can make a bed. I can actually make a bed. And we have some armor here. Blast protection. I don't know what is happening right now. <laughs> oh, okay. This this was definitely... Okay, that scared me. That actually scared me. Iron armor? Whoa. Okay. Gonna grab all this. Also gonna grab that anvil. Okay, and I'm going. And I'm going. And I'm going. Hello, zombie. There's probably another zombie spawner there. Okay. I have a totem of undying. I can't believe I have a totem of undying. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to get back to base. We're going to make a bed. Also, can I just say those raccoons look creepy in the night? Ah, it was going down. Okay. So I think I have the totem of undying equipped now. Um, I hope so anyway. We got some leather pants and we have an iron chest plate. You know what? Blast protection? I like the sound of that, you know. I kind of do like the sound of that. Blast... Pr I don't even know what that number is, but I'll take it gladly. Okay, that was definitely worth the trip here. Wow. 
I did not expect to find that there. Now I can craft up a bed and we can sleep away the night. Yes. Very, very good. I do not have any arrows, so I can't really make a bow. Okay. Oh, wow. Creepers are out in numbers. <laughs> it is finally time to check out what this village looking area up here is all about. All right. Oh, hello. Nope, 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 nope. Hello. Hey, buddy. Is that a... Sp These are spiders. Okay. Um... I don't trust you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do not trust you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna avoid that thing because... Yeah, I sense danger. Okay, village? Friendly? I don't know about you, that guy does... I'm sorry, but that guy does not look friendly. These guys do look normal though. Um, I come in peace. This place looks... Safe enough. I want to... Hmm, I don't know if I like the look of this guy over here. I want to make sure that everything is safe. Hey, buddy. You good? Gatekeeper. Huh. Okay. Yeah, these guys are totally safe. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think... Wow. Right. Um, this place is amazing. <laughs> Oh, hello, I know what that is. That leads down to a huge dungeon underground, which we will be able to maybe raid. It's a bit dangerous, but it's also kind of cool. Hey, uh, Mr. Gatekeeper, yeah, it, it, it looks like you're kind of the guy in, in, in charge here. Also, somehow you're a little bit taller than me. So l listen, yeah, I'm a new survivor. Um, I have seen that you have some amazing uh, resources, uh, iron and whatnot, which I don't have yet, as you can see. Yeah, here, look at this, yeah. Cru crude stone tools made in a cave, uh, being scared of, uh, of, uh, of zombies, yeah. So um, I was thinking, oh wait, don't go. Uh, I was thinking if I could protect, oh, Oh, I can just take whatever I need. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. That's what I wanted to. Uh, that's what I wanted to ask. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So, as you can clearly tell from that dialogue with that villager, I am allowed to take any resources that I require from these guys. So, yeah, I don't. I think. What is this? Armored goggles. I don't know what this is, but I keep getting advancements about stuff. <laughs> uh village employment. Huh. But yeah, I am fully allowed to just take whatever uh, resources that I require here. So I'll take anything of interest that can aid me in my survival, which in turn will aid these guys in their survival, right? Now there is another graveyard over here, which I would love to take a look at, but there's also a little bit of a, I don't know what it is, but it looks very interesting and there's a chest. So definitely wanna take a look at that. So I guess let's take a look at this tower real quick. We'll stop by this house. Whoa, what on earth? What is this hat of the golem? I'm gonna take that. That looks somewhat important. We have a bow now. I guess that's cool. Okay, so this tower, if we break in real quick. <laughs> there we go. Right, this staircase is going to lead down and there's gonna be a bunch of dungeons uh, underneath. So... We have a tower here. We also have the same kind of tower here, I believe. I think that's the same one. And we have another tower right here. So we have a bunch of dungeon network right underneath us. I just want to check if there's any treasure on top. Nope, nothing. All right. Now here's a graveyard, but there's also a hobbit hole. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, hey, fellas. Huh. Magnetic magnetic ring attracts items within eight blocks? What? Many pages with this tome were destroyed or rendered illegible by merciless but but bleh, merciless flow of time, but it may still contain useful pieces for ancient studies and lore. I'll take it okay, um if I just break the bars here. Bonk. There you go. Alright. I'm off while you do that. Alright, another graveyard with a mushroom another totem of undying whoa okay we what's going on Oh, 
was that? What a... No, 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 no. What was that? Excuse me? Is that like something... Sleeping on the ground or something weird? Okay. That officially creeped me out. I absolutely did not enjoy that. I think it was worth it though. We got another totem of undying. I, I think we're safe, but... No. <laughs> I'm going back this way. So that is what I saw. I don't know what this is, but... It has a chest. That's lava. Okay, the chest is not trapped. Ballistic blackstone. What do we got? Gold apple? Gold nuggets? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Okay. It's... I'm assuming that's what I heard. I... Hmm, okay. Ah, there we go. The guy cured. Nice. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna go now. I'm, I'm gonna go before I get eaten by something. I have two... I have two totals of undying, which is really good. Alright, I think that is enough exploration for today. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna head back to my cave now. Uh, of which I should probably set a bookmark right over here. Um, right, that was worth it though. Those two graveyards, that, that's definitely something to remember then. If we see a graveyard, definitely worth it because, well, that's a totem of undying for you. Which, I don't know about you, but that makes me feel a lot more comfortable. And that village is right next door, and I think they have guards as well. So they should be alright during, uh, during the night and such, so... Yeah, pretty good. But yeah, look at all this loot. I don't even know what this does. Amplifies damage while striking a target from behind. Oh, that's useful on like an axe or something. Right, I definitely need to organize my inventory. But for now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and dump everything in here. I will take this magnetic ring out though. Attracts items within eight blocks radius. This can be disabled by holding shift. So if I just... Oh... So if I... Hmm, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, that's cool. Does it have durability? It doesn't. That's... That's really cool. Right, despite this being leather armor, I think the armor is actually pretty decent, you know. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna make some iron boots, and then I'm gonna go ahead and make a shield, because that is gonna be very useful. Oh, that is very handy. The shield doesn't show until you bring it up. That is such a nice feature. <laughs> kind of wish Vanilla had that. Now, I assume I won't just be able... Oh, I can just go ahead and make an iron, a normal iron pickaxe. I kind of, since Tinker's Construct is here, I kind of want to make my tools using Tinker's Construct. But that would obviously require that I get a smelter going, uh, get some molten lava, get... Yeah, so for now, maybe I will go ahead and just make some normal iron tools until we get a Tinker's Construct smeltery setup. I think that is fair. Now, one thing that I then definitely need to go ahead and get before... Oh, now the shield is showing. Didn't show before. I guess that's a thing with the Tinker's tools. Very interesting. Yep, this is it right here. Diamond ore. Our very first diamond of the world. Love it. But guys, I think I'm going to call that an episode here. I think we did a lot of progress today, and we are sitting pretty well. We have a magnetic ring, we got two totems of our dying, we have an enchanted golden apple, we have a pretty good su supply of food, we have a village right next door that we can do trading with, we have these dungeons here, we have a wizard tower, which I haven't gotten into yet. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this first episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, and if you're new, consider subscribing, and let me know down below in the comments if you're excited for this series because I certainly am. But that's it for this one. Hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.